Everyone get out! Greetings programs, welcome back to Naval Action. I did promise some more. Now, first thing I'm going to say is, uh, my washing machine is actually currently running, so apologies if you hear that at any point during the background. Uh, it's not the best timing I know, but I suddenly looked at the time and thought that actually this would be a good point to record. Uh, unfortunately, it was as my washing machine was going, so there you go. I'm totally professional. So, uh, naval action. There's been a little. Uh, there's been a few changes since the last uh, video I put up. A few, a few new ships have gone in, and they've um, they've also locked. You can't buy the pre-orders anymore. You, you can't get in at the moment. They've decided they've got enough people in for testing purposes. And with the way they put the new ships in, they've also um, they've locked the the little ships out of the PVP battles. You can now only get into PVE uh, PVP light battles with uh, anything that's a navy brig or smaller. And I managed to get my way back up to the snow. Uh, basically, the way they did it was that you had to unlock the new vessels, but you hadn't lost any of your previous progress. And a lot of people were confused about that. And other people were exploiting that fact to basically let other players damage farm. And uh, that was, uh, yeah, the, the devs weren't very happy about that. So they locked all the little ships into um, PvP light or PvE light. However, this is a, a PvP battle. The snow can get into PvP battles. And as you can see, there's some pretty big ships around. I made some slight errors in ship identification last time. I'm probably not going to be too much better this time, but uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a reasonably big battle. Uh, not the biggest I've been in, but uh, it's still fairly big. There's some pretty reasonably sized ships around. I, I will try and... I should probably just refrain from going, oh yeah, that's a first rate or that's a second rate or whatever, because I really don't know what I'm talking about. I know these classifications exist. I don't know which ships are which. I'll also say, obviously, I'm doing this live. The last one was uh, pre-recorded footage with a voiceover, and I was talking a bit about the game. And this one I'm going to be concentrating a bit more on actually playing the game. And also, I shouldn't wiggle my mouse around when I'm trying to make a point, because I'm not even making a point there especially. It's just, uh, that's a habit I have sometimes. Like, I just wiggle the mouse. And that's not a euphemism. <laughs> So, uh, yes, this is being... I mean, the snow is a pretty decent little ship, but in this context, it is a little ship. So I'm going to have to be careful with uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to have to be mindful of what our ships are doing and obviously what the enemy ships are doing as well. I don't want to go out ahead or go out alone and make myself a, an obvious target because being a little ship in a big battle, uh, I think I mentioned, can have advantages. That You are less likely to be uh, targeted by other players but it might still happen that someone will inappropriately go after you and end up screwing themselves over because they have then wasted a broadside on a little ship and suddenly the victory that was behind you turned around gives them a broadside you know they basically get a free shot out of that so um, yeah this is uh, that, that's a balona there I'm not really up on my ship identification at the moment but uh, I'll get there with the time. Actually, no, that's uh, maybe you can get into big battles with the little ships now. You couldn't for a while. Maybe they've decided enough people have. Uh, I don't really follow the news for this game particularly, and it's probably been at least a week since I played this last. So yeah, no, that's a privateer. We have a privateer and a yacht and a navy brig. So maybe they've they must have put it back so the little ships can get in PvP battles. So just ignore everything I said. You must be used to that by now. Let's not ram into that ship in front of me. That will be a victory, right? That must be. Yeah, it's a victory. You can actually... I mean, some of these ships... It's astounding to think. Some of these ships you can actually go and see today. Like the Victory's one, the Constitution's another. Um, I'm trying to think what other... Like there's some later 19th century ships still preserved. Um, there's... Uh, what's that Swedish warship? The... Gustav Vassar or something like that. Um, you can go and see um, the remains of the Mary Rose. I mean, there's some very, very historic vessels still around. The Victory is actually the oldest commissioned warship in the world, but it's not the oldest um, still floating uh, sail warship, which is, I think, the Constitution, which I think that is a Constitution, unless I'm wrong. No, that is a Constitution. The American Watsits are a bit of a, uh, a bit of a giveaway. So at the moment, um, 
Oh, don't want to get in this guy's way. We're sort of forming up a battle line. Let's put up sail and get out of this guy's way. And I don't want to be right at the back of it, but I don't want to be getting in anyone's way either. So I'm just trying to not be a nuisance right now, I suppose. And the role of little ships in these battles is really to be kind of supporting fire. But if you can get on people's sterns as well, I understand that's a pretty good tactic. Although the bigger ships do have stern guns. In fact, this has got stern guns, as you can see. Chasers, as they're called. And there's also some four chasers as well. And the Snow is the first ship that you unlock that actually has the four chasers. Um, I'm trying to think if the... I think the Breeks have stern chasers, though. In fact, even on the Privateer, it has um, what looks like a pair of ports for stern chasers, but it doesn't actually have stern chasers. So, yeah, that's that's a whole lot of ship right there. Uh, so, uh, I don't quite know how this is going to go, because these battles, like, you can, it can all be over in 25 minutes, although that's unusual. Or it can drag on to be, like, 50 minutes, so there might be parts where I end up cutting out the action like skipping forwards and then saying what's uh, happened. This is this is a bit experimental. I do actually have a one bit of saved footage from another battle where I was in the yacht, which is basically the pre-order bonus ship. The yacht is what you get for um, paying for the early access. It's like their little thank you, and it's a it's a little ship. It's like the cutter or the Lynx. But it, it's pretty fast, and it's actually uh, got very good performance actually going into the wind. Not obviously directly into the wind, but um, it handles really very well, and it, it looks quite nice as well. I mean, it's not that it's OP, it, it's more that it, it looks like it's, uh, uh, it, it's a very pretty little ship, I'll put it that way. So, uh, not much doing right now, this might be one of the parts where we skip ahead. How this usually goes, and I am not up on my tactics at all, but how this usually goes is you get two lines forming up and then at some point one team or the other decides that they are going to cross the gap essentially and uh, try and cut the enemy formation in half. And yeah, at that point it can all just go fairly pear-shaped, <laughs> or not pear-shaped exactly, pear-shaped implies it goes wrong. It sort of goes into a giant fuzzball of... Um, everyone kind of jockeying for position and, and trying to get shots on everyone else. But at the moment it's just uh, kind of long range, very chancy shots. And I kind of know what guns I've got at the moment. It might just be the regular six pounders rather than the, the long six pounders. And I'm going to be honest, I'm still not exactly sure um, the difference between the long versions and the regular versions. Carronades, I know what they are, but I've seen two differing conflicting explanations, and one is that the the six pound or the whatever, the long versions are, are called long because they have longer range, and the other is that they have uh, increased uh, penetration, presumably because they have increased uh, muzzle velocity. Although the muzzle velocity of a cannon must be fairly slow. But, um, well, in comparison to what we're used to with, well, what I'm used to with World of Tanks anyway. Are you talking like 500, 600, 800, 1200? Well, is there as many as, uh, as high as 1200? There might be. Some of the APCR shells maybe, but you know, that many meters per second. I'm sure these are quite slower than that. So I'm just loafing around at the moment. I could, I mean, I could try and fill up the gap with uh, just my usual level of waffle. Um, but, of course, I also have the issue of if it's a 50 minute video, that's an awfully long upload for me. Never mind the, uh, also the, you know, the rendering and the processing time as well. Also, we didn't have Caption Guy along last time. I guess he got bored of, uh, I don't know. I, I heard he had an accident of the on, on the poop deck and uh, didn't really want to talk about it, so uh, I, I didn't want to press the mouse too much. Anyway, that's our, uh, yeah, three victories. You probably don't see uh, three victories in a row very often. You certainly don't see it in real life, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but we got uh, some other um, pretty chunky ships around as well. Although I was kind of surprised to learn that the Constitution is only, was it fourth rate or fifth rate? And uh, given its uh, sort of 
reputation and history, it it's a uh, I don't know. It, some of these ships have got really very interesting histories, indeed. Oh, the other thing I was... And I'm just remembering random stuff in a random order now. I, I know I said I wouldn't witter, but I guess I lied. Um, is I was wondering if they've implemented uh, ammo racking, basically. <laughs> because that could happen. If the powder magazine of a wooden warship went up, that was it. That was game over. And I'm pretty sure it was the Battle of the Nile where the French flagship... That basically happened. It went up in a really spectacular fashion. Because obviously, wooden ships, fire was always a danger anyway, but wooden ships packed full of gunpowder. Well, I say packed full of gunpowder, but even so, they had more than enough on board to basically entirely blow up the ship if that happened to ignite. And the big risk, of course, is from um, fire catching in their gunpowder stores as opposed to more modern battleships where it's still really bad if it gets in the, uh, you know, you get shot in the ammunition store. That's that's what happened to HMS Hood, for example. But it's, um, it's a different kind of, like, there it's the explosive in the shelves going up, whereas in wooden ships, obviously, it's the, the gunpowder itself that's, uh, you know, it's, it's the explosive, um... Uh, I suppose it's the explosive and the propellant that's going up in a, a modern shell, whereas this is gunpowder was just the propellant, basically. But it could equally, like, they had to be so careful. Like, they, can you imagine, like, you, you, you couldn't just go into the gunpowder store with a candle. This was in pretty much the the deepest part of the ship, like the safest part that they could uh, they put it. And you wouldn't just wander in there with a lit candle because you'd blow up the entire ship. So, yeah. Anyway, we're in range now. I'm going to fire off a single shot. Uh, that's quite short. I've not quite yet got the hang of, like, eyeballing it. I need to see where that one went. Uh, no, that's still short. Now, when we're in this kind of line, they're definitely not going to be firing at me because there's much bigger targets. And I do have to remember to pay attention to my mini-map. I'm also not... I probably should be paying more attention to the chat as well, but the thing is, I'm, it's the usual thing when I'm doing live, I'm trying to think of things to say and play the game and pay attention to a mini-map, and also pay attention to a chat as well, because uh, there's no, like, I know the in, the, the in-game voice of um, World of Tanks is pretty risible, like, there's a reason everybody uses things like TeamSpeak and Raycall and Mumble. Well, this doesn't have that, because obviously they are spending their development time on much more important things. And actually there's been some really interesting screenshots posted and kind of teaser footage of the open world aspect of the game. And of course there have been other games where you sail around and uh, you're in an open world and you get to like trade and do stuff. But I don't think there's been any that's been that's been multiplayer and that's done it quite like this. Um, the two I'm thinking specifically of, and I probably mentioned them last time as well, but Sid Meier's Pirates and, uh, of course, Assassin's Creed 4. So they're saying to uh, focus this Davy Jones guy, and focusing fire, well, that's an element that's very um, familiar to World of Tanks players. Driving a... <laughs> driving, yeah, driving a big ship, uh, <laughs> commanding a big ship, is... You know, you get all the guns, you get the most armor, but you also conversely are the biggest target. And the fact that we have, we have three victories, they have two victories. It's going to be spread out a bit between the top ships. So in this case, it's focusing the lead ship. And I don't know. It seems like if you're in command of one of the, the big ships, if you're in the lead, you just have to kind of suck it up and accept that you are going to be a punching bag for the team. I'm reminded of that, uh, <laughs> that clip from The Simpsons where they discover the old uh, nuclear war planning film. It's like, you know, Springfield, uh, America's nuclear whipping boy. <laughs> that was quite funny. Also, the FPS is holding up alright. I was worried that... Uh, I, mean, I mean, this is the high graphic settings. This even isn't even the very highest you can put it, I think. I think there's like an ultra graphic settings as well. But it's running pretty nicely. Um, it probably would be running even better if I wasn't recording right now. Uh, technically this game's pretty nice. So we're both, both lines are pretty much pulling in at the moment. I wish I had double for this guy, point blank range, but he's unlikely to waste his broadside on me. Really will just be a, a pinprick. In fact, I can just 
turn and get my uh, chasers on him as well. And before I through with the turn, I'm, I'm not sure if I should be loading double at this point, but uh, hello, our victories are, is he attacking? Not quite sure what the tactic is here. Too busy blathering. Not, uh, oh, somebody's had a bump. Not sure if that was deliberate. Yeah, we're getting perilously, oh, it's not attacking because we're turning back up into the wind. I'm not paying attention to my wind gauge at all there. Also, don't want to block this guy. Let's see if we can get out of the way and head of him. Also, oh, is that, yeah. Stone chasers should be able to hit him. I don't want to block anyone's broadside. I might be able to hit this Davy Jones guy though. I'll just check the other side as well. That's definitely something I need to improve at is um, like the situational awareness. It works pretty differently than anything I might be used to in World of Tanks. Yes, I just about have range. Oh, no. Oh, okay. When I find the ranging shot, I was obviously, you know, just at the top of a wave and then I, I went down slightly and that was that. Um, yeah, these are some serious broadsides going back and forth right now. So, there's no... I don't think there is any way... that just turns off the little mini-map. There's no big mini-map that you can call up and you can't make it bigger. There's no kind of tactical... But that's fine, actually, because... Uh, after that initial, like, formation, you can try and... Uh, keep... Oh, he's on battle sails as well. Go to battle sails as well. You can try and, um, it's almost like in a little ship, fighter screening bombers, because you don't want little ships to get on your friendly ship's tail, so, or scout tanks screening, not quite artillery. I don't know, there is no real exact analogy here, but I'm just doing my best to help out. Right, I'm going to actually go for double on that side. This is just a bit of... Uh, General, whoa, someone's shooting at me. Probably one of the littler ships. I'd be surprised if a bigger ship's wasting his uh, uh, broadside on a snow. But yeah, it's basically what you can see is all the information that you can get. So it looks like we're going back up wind now. I'm not sure what that Davy Jones guy is doing. He's probably just trying to get his uh, broadside round on Uldo here. Um, if you can, like, there is a lot of. of um, isolating ships um, oh he's taking a real panic um, is like you isolate the bigger dangerous ships if you can and you focus fire like crazy and you uh, try and take like the bigger ships have more guns so if you take out a bigger ship you are having a much bigger impact on the enemy team than if you know if I got taken out I don't have that many cannons Whereas uh, a victory has uh, obviously considerably more guns than I do, so that is a much juicier target. So I'm taking cannonballs from somebody. It might just be that I'm the only, like, if it's this, uh, what is, even is that? Is that a Bologna? It might be that I'm the only thing he can fire at right now. Anyway, uh, this Gratznov guy. And also a victory. He's actually a bigger target right now, so boom, 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 boom double into his side. He's probably not going to feel it that much, but he will a bit. Oh, also, hello. We're a bit getting bracketed here. I'm going to stick with these victories, I, I think. For, for one thing, I mean, there is the mercenary, you know, they're going to be attracting the fire rather than me for the most part. But also I can help them out if somebody tries to get on their tail. Potentially. Right, Aldo, what are you doing? Do I need to turn in here? So... Fire some into his bow. And I hope I'm really not going to collide with anyone just now. Woohoo! Let's be close. That's fine. And let's get around. Now. Oh, I meant to go with double on the other side as well. But anyway, yeah, no, this has gone full fur, fur ball at this point. Uh, I don't know, we might keep watching the battle if I die. Uh, are you. Whoa, we are getting a bit close, matey. 
Um, you have to really check the colour of the name tag because you can't just look at a ship. It's like, oh yeah, that's a victory, that's a... Uh, no, I think he's actually deliberately trying to ram this, if I can get out of the way here. Probably not. Because he's in a big ship and I'm in a little ship. Well, is he forcing me into somebody else's path here? Uh, there's not a whole heap I can do here. Like, was get rammed by someone or rammed somebody else. Oh. Um, yeah, that was not good. Uh, I'm sort of almost being forced into attack. I'm stuck on a ship here. This is not good. Right, into survival mode. Let's give him a taste of my cannibals. Yeah, give him a taste of my balls. Wait, what? Um, oh, okay then. I didn't know this was that kind of a channel. Um, you're sinking, I think. That's not good that we've lost a victory. I mean, I'm sure I didn't help. But I was a little bit uh, between a rock and a hard place there. Or a ship and another ship. Uh, that's exactly where I was. I was between a ship and another ship. And I've noticed there's quite... It seems like there's a high proportion of people that keep watching. And we're listing on one side, but we're not shipping water. Right. Seven. You also don't appear to get... I've lost my bow spit and therefore I've lost some sail power. But you don't seem to get tangled up on... Like, once somebody goes down... Uh, it doesn't... Uh, no, that's a friendly. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could look at somebody and get like a... I know it's a bit gamey, but you could get a green outline or something. Because at the moment the only way is to check the colour of the names. And if you're... Well, I can't look up far enough to see whether that's a friendly. Although, of course, you can also... Um, like, if I'm looking in this direction, that's probably a friendly. Because it says Forest Tiger. But there's no exact way to know... Um, unless you can see the name... Because you can see, you mouse over and you can see the condition of the enemy ships. There's no exact way to know if that is um, the actual ship I want to be looking at. Right, I should probably actually fall back and try and cut in behind. Oh, also, back to survival. I might want to pop a repair at this point because that is one of my sides down completely. I don't want to be a, a focus of uh, fire here at all. I don't know if I can actually get into his... Uh, if I can, it'll be just into his waterline. No, I don't have enough healing over too much, it looks like. I might actually be going down already, which would be annoying. But if so, there's not a huge amount I can do about it. I think we're holding the flooding at bay just. But you can see I'm healing rather badly at this point. He also might just... Like, if he's got... Is he going down or has he just struck sail? I... Okay, that mostly went into him. Some of them pitched into the water, sadly. So, one side's fine. The other side isn't, but... Um, we're in a pretty sorry state. Oh, turn, turn. Plus, don't ram me. Plus. Plus. Look at that. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's kind of good that, like, the, the natural progression of... Um, the roles of the ships on the... I'm going to call it a battlefield, because what else am I going to, you know... There's no other logical thing to call it, but the progression of the ships also uh, matches nicely with how their roles actually are. So it's like the big ships have the most responsibility, but the light ships, the small ships, have a place as well. Right, I really want to get my guns on Davy Jones. We're slowly getting rid of that water. How's my crew doing? I keep... I had a, a battle... I've played one battle prior to this, and my crew... I didn't even notice, but I was left with just one single lone crewman. Um, because... Oh, hello! I did not notice you! This is... this is what I mean. Oh, God. Whoops! Yeah, that screwed me and him. That's not good. Um, can I get off? Uh, that was my bad. Uh, oh, well, yeah. That's what I mean about you have to have that situational awareness, and I really don't quite have that yet. Because um, if I go, you know, if I'm concentrating on, well, there's my shot going, I'm not necessarily also glancing at the minimap at the same time. And you kind of have to. Right, that Gradsnov guy uh, doesn't want to seem to sink. I might actually be able to... I don't know if you... Oh, no, he is sinking. I don't know if you, if you hit somebody when they're sinking, does that... Do you still get damage points for that? Or is that just like you're wasting your cannonballs? 
Also, it'd be fun if you could run out of cannonballs, but it's unlikely that that would ever actually happen as a thing. Right, I should have enough range for double shot. I don't think I'm about to immediately ram into somebody. That's a bit high. Fire that off now before a friendly gets in the way. And you really are, you're just kind of contributing a little bit of damage. Uh, but yeah, we, we're not doing too badly. If only I actually had to use one repair, but I've got to now try and shield my port side as much as possible. Like, if, I'm, if I want to get hit, I want to get hit in the starboard side. But the problem is, we have... Um, well, it's mostly smaller ships of the enemy team. Is that one of our Connies? Oh, yeah, he's got himself isolated badly. Like, he... Uh, and that's a Trincomalee. Yeah, no, he's probably not going to last. This is why you do not isolate yourselves. Because you'll probably get two or three or four ships swarming over you. And if you're a bigger gun, well, even if they're smaller ships, if there's multiples of them... Uh, it's gonna hurt because you only got so many guns and you can only really um... well I suppose you could fire your cannonballs individually like do it one at a time because you do have an option for that but that would be a bit like the power of the cannonballs is all in the volley and I don't know if there's any way to fire decks separately the other thing that you can't do and I might be wrong about this, but it seems like you can't, um, uh, what was I, uh, yeah, you can't have it so that they all, it'd be quite cool if you could, like, coordinate fire, like, everybody fires at once and you just go, blah, blah, but maybe that's not realistic. I, I suppose the order to fire went down and then they all just kind of fired off of the, hello, what's that, that's a brig, probably don't have the range for shot. Uh, double shot. I might do though. Let's pop battle sails. I'm not immediately going to turn into somebody. I'm still healing quite considerably. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, that's a that, that's a, yeah. That'll be an unfriendly ship. Um, I probably want to use another repair now, don't I? Why have I got ball on that side still? Right, I actually want ball on that side. And I want double on this side, but we might as well fire this off. And that was because, yeah, he's a bigger ship than me, but he had nothing else to fire that broadside out at right then. So I got the brunt of it because I wasn't paying attention. And yeah, I can't tell who's winning right now. Let's quickly look at the tab. Um, we're down to victory. So are they. We still have two in the fight. Victories are very powerful units. Right. Um, also, oh, God, which side was it? Two. Uh, no, that's front ammo, and that's the thingy console. That's the wrong key entirely. Double? No. Ah, oh, I forgot to say. Also, I don't want double on there. Yeah, I sometimes I'm not quite. I don't have the muscle memory <laughs> just yet. <laughs> um, let's see. That's another snow. I'm just trying to. That's a sneaky little. Oh. Who's firing at who there? I'll turn into somebody's broadside. That'd be a bad plan. Also, that snow's turning. Let's try and... Uh, Fofen looks like he's in trouble. I should probably actually be making more of an effort to keep my guns firing. And he's now close enough I could have used the double. So let's go back to double again. It's almost like the reload issue in World of Tanks, like with the longer firing... Uh, reloads on some ships. Also, why did I go to a dead halt? I don't know. Um, you... Uh, might as well use my last repair. Um, the, the... Like, the the Death Star, the FV-183, um, deciding which ammo to choose, well, you have to kind of guesstimate ahead of time what you're going to use, because you've got such a long reload time that you can't just instantly change your mind. Whereas with a faster firing gun, of course, you can just go, okay, next shot's going to be prem ammo instead of regular ammo and it's fine because you only have to wait four five six seconds whereas if you have to wait like 20 seconds then suddenly just being able to reload ammo really quickly that uh, well just being able to change ammo really quickly um, to react to a situation you can't you just have to go with what you've got so I might well be able to get into this guy don't know that there's like the the regular K 
cannons, uh, like regular single shot ball, and then you go for double shot, and it's it pretty much looks the same. Like I can't tell if it's right. You're, you're quickly fire those, and actually, if I bring the sails around, I should be able to turn in tight, and I might even be able to get my. No, that's the side that's still loading, of course. Right, and we actually want to uh, drop sail a bit because I don't want to get and block this guy's shot. Um, is that... No, that's uh, friendly. Oh, he's been demastered. Yeah, that's going to hurt. And of course, the double shot also takes longer to load, so that's the, the price you pay for doing the damage. Right, which way are you going? Because I need to get out of your way. i turn in a bit here. He's nearly down. I think we might be... I'm going to say we might be winning. We're down a couple of ships, but um, whether I survive, of course, is a different matter entirely. Do I need battle? Oh, I need to go down a little bit further. But there we go. Guns up again, and I think I want to actually turn to port here. Now, the water's taking a long time to go down because my pump is, as you can see, yellow. My sails are not doing too well either, we're down to 80%, so I've lost uh, a fifth of my sail power. Because for some reason, when you shoot sails full of holes, they don't catch the wind quite as well. It's a bit strange, that. Also, somebody pointed out that there are, like, you'll see national flags at the on the, the top masts of a lot of these uh, uh, ships. Or the you'll see pennants that look like... Um, like they're all just random at the moment. I've probably pointed that out in the last video as well, but there's no kind of rhyme or reason to it. It doesn't correspond to the actual uh, what's going on in the battle at all. Which it might do at some point, but that's a purely cosmetic thing. Like that's going to be very low down the priority list. Well, let's fall in behind this victory. Thallion here. Looks like they're trying to form up another line. Now that most of the four but Four burl, third ball is over. This might just end up being a long video, and it might just end up having a really long upload time. I was thinking, yeah, there'll be there might be some slack periods where I can cut out a bit of footage, but there's not really been anything like that so far. It's been pretty much all go. Uh, can I get uh, possibly? There we go. He should be going down. And actually, I think we'll go back to ball shot on my starboard side. And try and fall in. And not block anybody's uh, line of fire. I don't know if that Krom guy is. He should be. The little ships should be fairly long. Whoa, don't shoot me. Repairs at this point. Don't want to shoot at me. I'm, I'm not in total portal. Right. Now it's a bit disorganised. We still have our two victories, but I can't quite tell what people's plans are just now. Like this, um, what is this, a Bellona? That's a Bellona, right? Yeah, I'm not quite sure where he's going. Also, I'm not quite sure why Forest Tigers. Uh, I don't know, he sort of came to a halt and now he's at battle sails. Right, I should be able to hit Davy Jones all the way over there. That one actually went over. It's hard to see your own shot going in when he's firing from the broad side. There we go. Um, yeah, that uh, he's tacking for some reason. Chrome's still struggling on, but look at him, he's going down. So we can tell what the state of the other ships is. David Jones, you can't tell how many repairs somebody's got left. Oh, Forest Tiger's saying he's got no pump, so he's probably taking more water. Um, that Navy Brig, that is a Navy Brig, right? No, that's a, or is that a Cerberus? Well, oh, actually, it might be a Cerberus. Uh, that's one of the new, like, it's a small frigate, basically. I think that, I'm probably going to be wrong, I think it's a sixth rate, but I'm not sure. 
And that's a nape break. So that was the new that comes after the break. <laughs> Cannibals though, and then that's a pair of bellonas. Also, I should probably fire my cannons now that I have my cannons back. So, arranging shot. He looks like he might be taking on water, actually. Davy Jones over there. Which is a very appropriate name for this game. That's actually just about at his water line, so I can get a couple of shots in on the water line. No, those went slightly high, I think, for the most part. Oh, yeah, no, Forest Tiger's going down. Reap! Well, excuse me, I'll just have a drink of water. So, it seems to be going so far um, okay, but I don't know, we have a pair of frigates that, uh, like, we don't want to let them just gang up on our remaining victory, because that would be a bad thing. And I seem to be, it's me and this, um, no, oh, he's going down as well, this other snow at the moment, and also uh, this privateer, so our... Bigger ships are all like we don't want to fragment here. This is this is actually might be bad. Right, that's my starboard guns back up. Slightly short. So he's getting the full attention of all those ships over there. Basically, he looks like he's seriously listing though. Um, those look like they actually fell just short, which is quite annoying. Okay. I'm just following uh, Thalion's lead here. That might not do me any good. This was sort of, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't read this. You know, I don't have that sense about... I can, I can look at a mini-map on World of Tanks and 95% of the time I can sort of go, okay, I can, I can tell how this is going pretty much. But I say 95% because, of course, sometimes you get surprised. But um, I don't really, you know have that sense about this. I'm doing it again. I'm doing the mouse movement again. I don't have that sense about this game yet. So I uh, I don't know. It feels like this could be going either way. So again, I'm trying to get round on David Jones. I haven't even been particularly paying attention to the wind in this one. I've just been doing what my teammates have been doing. Which I guess you can kind of get away with in a small ship. Oh yeah, he's going down. It's kind of appropriate. He's David Jones. Right, I should probably not waste a broadside on him then. Uh, let's drop to battle sail and see if I can hit the guy behind him maybe. I might have enough range for that. Can't tell if that was a hit or not. Right, that was a hit so I probably aimed a little... No, that was mostly okay actually. I was thinking I maybe aimed a little too far ahead but... Uh, oh, Steve, -O, what are you doing? Oh, don't shoot at me! I'm famous on the internet! I might actually have to start being a lot more standoffish here because I can't. Well, I've used all my repairs. I, I need these uh, frigates to actually uh, be a little more in the line of fire. Um, I'm going to have to, you know. I'm going to have to do the whole discretion is the better part of Valor thing here and uh, run away! Or at least try and keep my distance more. It's a bit like being a... I think maybe like a, a World of uh, Tanks, like a light tank. Like you're only any good so long as you can stay in the game. Although, I'm not sure it's an exact analogy because of course my firepower um, is unlikely to be a decisive factor in this battle. I just don't want to sink, damn it. Right, um... I've Probably got sufficient range for this guy. Yes, I do. Guns away. And now let's actually put a little distance. Like they've actually formed up into a really nice line. Look at that. That's what somebody was suggesting our team did, and uh, they kind of haven't. No, oh, don't shoot at me. You can't shoot at me. It's not allowed. Yeah, I don't want to be the only target out here. Look, there's a frigate right next to me. Shoot at him. He's still got most of his health. What is this even, anyway? Is this one of the new... No, I didn't... Uh, that's not Cerberus, is it? That's a surprise. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, and no, I, I don't know my... You know, <laughs> ships. 
Is this me taking on water? This is bad. Yeah. I think this might be me rip. Um. Well. I guess I'll let them know. Uh, I don't I think I played all right in this one. Um, there was that bump into that victory, which uh, was a bit of an unforced error, to borrow a term from tennis. And then, I don't know if I really made any other particularly major gaffes. I didn't sail into anybody's shot. Uh, not particularly badly anyway. I think I maybe caught one or two friendly cannonballs, but given how accurate this, you know, the gunnery in this game is, if you manage to go through a whole battle and not take a single cannonball from your own team, you're probably doing all right, or else you're just very far away from anybody. Are any of these going to go anywhere close? Probably not. That's definitely my last volley. No, not even. So yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. They, uh, like, I wish they hadn't chosen to shoot at me instead of the other guy. But I suppose I was a low health target, so they prioritised me for that reason. Took my guns out of the game. Let's have a quick look at the tab. Uh, the, the scores. I think we actually might be. I don't know. It's fairly even in terms of numbers, and we still have our victory. Well, actually, like we can click through and uh, see how each of the people are doing. Here we go. The fact that our victory is still reasonably healthy might be the decisive factor in this. Uh, their best ship left is a Bologna. Two Bolognas, Trincomalee, Cerberus, and a Brig. Uh, we've got Victory, a Bologna, two Surprises, and a Privateer. So it really depends, like, it comes down to the quality of the, the teamwork and the focusing of fire, basically. Their absolute priority is going to be to take out this guy, Thalion. And I guess our priority is going to be to take out their Bolognas. But, uh,. Yeah, I guess that's it as far as my contribution to the battle goes. So I, I think we'll come back in, um, like I'll I'll come back in with the results screen. We'll skip ahead a bit here, and then um, I think we'll wrap up the video after that point. So here we are. We are now less than two minutes from the end of the battle, and I will remind you that these battles can go on for an hour's length at maximum. This is one of the downsides of this game. Um, one of the things I don't quite like about it as uh, of, uh, at the moment, the current state, is that the battles can go on for a really long time. If they cut it down to 50 minutes, even 45 minutes, I feel that would be a bit better. And to be fair, it hasn't happened that often that I have been in battles where it's gone the full hour. But uh, that's happened in this case. Um, I was expecting this to be over 10, 15 minutes ago, and it really wasn't. Um, I mean, the enemy team, I'm I'm in no position to make any kind of tactical analysis. Like, I have, as I've said, I, I can't read what's going on in these battles yet, as I can in World of Tanks. But it seems like the enemy team in the latter half of this battle stuck together better, but they also then just ran away and kept at range. And it seems like, and, and I've had this in other battles I've played in naval action as well. Um, it seems like sometimes you'll encounter a team that instead of, um, like, if it looks like a situation that they can't win, they will then just run away. And there is the mechanic of the shrinking um, circle. You can see there that slowly advancing white line that basically constrains the size of um, the, I'm going to say it again, the battlefield, um, to, um, make sure that the action gets more concentrated as the battle goes on but it doesn't stop this from happening <laughs> this is effectively going to be a draw I mean it doesn't get scored as such because at the moment well we'll see in five seconds time that it's the damage that you do that unlocks the progress to the next ship but really this is a draw like nobody won this one and that's kind of like there's no real way um, there's no penalty for a, a team deciding that they're just going to run and try and time it out and waste... It, it feels like they're just trying to waste everybody's time. Like, oh, well, we can't win this. We're just going to waste everyone's time. Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, if I hadn't been recording, I wouldn't have bothered sticking around for that. But as it was, here's the end score screen. Now, and yeah, it is actually... 
the game, uh, it does tell you it's a draw. Um, it doesn't affect the scores in any way, but yeah, it was a draw. So Thallium, the victory, he was alive at the end, had uh, 43k damage. He did really well. Considerably better than either of the enemy victories. Um, uh, Aldo, he was the victory that went down first. Um, did I? I was credited with a kill. Four and a half thousand. Um, I think that's not bad for me in a snow. And I will say, I wasn't the only one still watching at the end there as well. The majority of people do keep watching these games. And I think that's kind of um, interesting. Um, for, for a longer match like this, I probably wouldn't have. But the majority of players seem to be interested enough that they stick around to watch what's going to happen. And I suppose that's a way of... of Because uh, just like World of Tanks, it's a way of learning from other players because you can see what other players are doing. You can sort of click to uh, see what the rest of your teammates are doing directly. But anyway, yeah, so... I like this game a lot, um, uh, even though, having said that, you now, if you're watching this and you didn't already buy access to it, you can't buy access to it at the moment. Um, but um, uh, it needs a little bit of work. But bear in mind, this is one game mode. The final game is, this is just going to be one part of the final game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there will be uh, some considerable changes along the way, because there always are when you have a game in this kind of situation. So, naval action, there we go. Um, my... Uh, I was debating whether to have this next or a bit more um, Fractured Space, but I decided to go for this. Uh, fractured Space will probably be my next non-tanks game if it's not something like another Crusader Kings 2, because I did leave an awfully long gap between the last two CK2 videos. But whatever it is, um, I hope you tune in for that. Uh, next one as well. Um, if you like this one, you can leave any comments below. You can subscribe to my channel. You can... Um, I've done that in the wrong order. I've just thrown myself out now. Wow. You can hit the like button. You can leave any comments below. You can subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay tuned for more.